Okay guys, today we're going to review solving systems of equations like we started to do on Friday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us one example, we're going to work through it, and then you guys will have uh, an assignment that has more problems on it. Okay, so say I have the system 6x minus 2y equals 10 and 4x plus y equals 2. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to have an equation that is just y equals. So you see that second equation, the one on the bottom? Since y is already by itself, that's going to be the easiest one to rearrange. So if I have 4x plus y equals 2, this is just the second equation here, I want to solve it for y. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides, and that gives me y equals negative 4x plus 2. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation that I just found, and I'm going to substitute it into the top equation where the y is at. So that will be 6x minus 2, but instead of y, we're going to write negative 4x plus 2. But then keep going with the equation, so my equals 10. So now let's solve this equation for x. The first thing you're going to want to do is distribute. So this 6x will stay the same, but this negative 2 needs to get multiplied in. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 x, then negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4 equals 10. Let's combine our like terms. So the first and the second term both have x's, so that would turn into 14x minus 4 equals 10. Then I want my constants to be on the right side of the equal sign. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. And that gives me 14x equals 14. Last, we're going to solve for x by dividing both sides by 14. And x equals 1. Okay, so I have one number in my system, but every time we have a system, we need to have a coordinate point. So that means x comma y. So now I need to go back and solve for y. The good thing, though, is that I already have an equation that's set up for y equals we did this in our first step. So what we're going to do is get this x equals 1 and plug it in right here where the x is at. Right here where the x is at. So this will turn into y equals negative 4. But instead of x, we're going to write 1. And plus 2. Then let's distribute that negative 4, so that would be negative 4 plus 2, and then solve for y. This is negative 2. Okay, so now that I have both values, when I write the solution to my system, it has to be a coordinate point, so it always has to be x comma y. So for us, that's going to be the point 1 comma negative 2. Okay, so that's how we solve that system of equations. Now that we've practiced how to solve systems of equations by substitution, let's take a look at our assignment. So your assignment is going to be five questions long, so it's five different systems that I want you to find a solution to. And remember, you're allowed to use anything on these assignments. So your notes from Friday, my notes from Friday will be posted already for you. Um, you can look on the internet, any help that you can get. So let's start our new attempt. And this is our first question. Let me make this bigger. Okay. So it says, what is the solution to the following system of equations? And it gives us our two equations. 3x plus y equals 19 and 4x plus 2y equals 28. So you'll notice that down here, all of the steps are given to you. And we, I kind of even give you a template of how to fill in your answer. 
So the first step says to rewrite the top equation in slope intercept form. So this top equation here, we're going to rearrange it to where y is by itself. So if you have a piece of paper, you can do it on your own paper. But really all I can see is that we're going to have to subtract 3x from both sides, which means that 3 is going to be negative now. So negative 3x, the x is already there. And then the 19 that was there, since it's positive, it's plus 19. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Substitute this equation into the bottom equation. So what we just found now, we're going to substitute it to the bottom equation specifically for the y. So you see how this is a y? We're going to put it where the y is on this second equation. So 4x plus 2, 4x plus 2 is already there. Now instead of the y, you're going to plug in the equation that we got in the first step. So negative 3, the x is already there. But notice how there's no sign here. You're going to need to write in the plus 19. Okay, then we're going to distribute. So 4x, and then this 2 needs to get multiplied in. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6x. And then 2 times 19 is plus 38. Now we're going to combine our like terms. So 4x and 6x can go together since they all have x's on them. So 4 minus 6 would be negative 2x. And then that 38 is still there, so plus 38. Now it says move the constants to the right side. So that means that this 38 here, I want to move it over to this side. So the negative 2x is going to stay the same. But if I subtract 38 and I subtract 38, 28 minus 38 gives me negative 10. Now we're going to solve for x. So if I divide both sides by negative 2, that would get me positive 5. Okay, now that I have my x value, I'm going to plug in that x value into the equation from the first step. So remember up here, this first step, this x right here, we're going to replace it with the 5 that we just found, this 5 that's right here. So copying this equation down exactly, I need negative 3, but instead of x, we're going to put 5, and then plus 19. Okay, distribute, negative 3 plus, times 5 is negative 15. The 19 stays the same. Then solve for y. So when I add these two numbers up, I get positive 4. So now I have x and I have y. So for my solution, it's always x first and then y. So this is going to be 5, 4. So this is my way of getting you guys to show all of your work while solving the system. So if you find that something doesn't fit, so like notice right here with the four, it only lets me do three digits. So if you ever try to do more than that, that has to be a wrong answer. Um, what else? If you need a calculator, so some of this stuff I was kind of doing in my head, but like right here, the 28 minus 38, if you look here on the side, there's a calculator. So you can click it and then just type in what you needed. 28 minus 38 equals, that's how I got my negative 10. And then if you want that calculator to go away, you can just press the X. And then as you can notice, I was highlighting some things. If you want to highlight stuff, you just kind of select it and the highlight button comes up right here and you press the arrow, you can do any color that you want. Um, okay. So this was only one question. You still have one, two, three, four more to do that are exactly like this. They'll be set up for you. You just have to type in the correct numbers.